A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. Albert told us about the tragic death of Mr. Dunn, the late director of Kew Gardens. Tragic indeed. His heart attack was quite unexpected. Would you unlock the doors for us? Do you expect to find the stolen plants there? I am sorry, but those rooms are private. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. The soil on the side of this flower shelf is the same as that on the ground. Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. This pot was broken fairly recently. A flower pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination to make sense of it all. like that. This reconstruction reveals a disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic, or the door was locked. Was it an accident, or a murder then, I wonder? Inspector Lestrade to take Montague Dunn's body to Scotland Yard. It's ready for autopsy then. First of all, let us carry out an external examination. No redness, stings or bruises. 
There are no suspicious marks upon the chest. Let us finish our external examination so that we can proceed with the autopsy. There is an injury to the skull, most probably caused by the fall in the water lily greenhouse. The air from the lungs carries a faint floral aroma. Hmm. The vessels and the pupil of the eye appear quite normal. Nothing suspicious here. Now, let us examine the internal organs. The heart's blood vessels show no pathological signs. The heart tissue shows no visible pathological signs. The lungs are congested and edematous. The tissue on the inferior lobe of the right lung is damaged, most probably caused by toxins from an unknown plant. The liver tissue is brown. There are no visible pathological signs. The liver is enlarged. It would seem that he was suffering from an alcohol addiction. The stomach tissues show no visible pathological signs. There is a small amount of content. It appears that he breakfasted lightly, only a short while before his death. Suspicions have been substantiated. Montague Dunn, the director of Kew Gardens, died from poisoning. Plant poisoning, to be more exact. You mean... Yes, it is murder. We should inform Lestrade. Yes, but do remember, Watson, that I discovered the murder. The challenge is mine. The challenge, Holmes? We need to locate that deadly plant. Such a perfect murder appeals to me. Murder of any kind appeals to you. Is that all we need to do? No. We also have the people working at Kew Gardens. Martin Hamish and the son of the victim, Albert Dunn. And also Miss White, of whom we spoke with Mr. Hamish. Should we bring them all here for interrogation? No. A few innocuous questions at Kew will suffice, as well as a discreet delve into their personal affairs. Yes, Watson. It is time now to open the doors. Even those in the staff building? I suppose that is necessary. We should also be concerned with the victim himself. After all, we don't know very much about Montague Dunn. You're enjoying this already, aren't you? <laughs> More than a little. <laughs>